Hi, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. I finally got some parts. This is a valley cover. It's nice, huh? Let's get it thrown on the engine. So this thing took entirely too long to show up, but I'm glad it's finally here. So now I don't have to keep stuffing the valley of the engine with a bunch of plastic and saran wrap to keep stuff from falling in it. So here is the gasket. That does only go on one way because it has the stupid oil pressure thing right there. And here's the valley cover with the oil pressure thing right there. I wonder if I should paint it first. Nah, it'll be mostly hidden under the intake. Which means there's another thing that I have to check is that the intake clears this. Because it might not. And if it might don't, then it won't work. And if it won't work, I won't be happy. Alright, so now I've got to find out what size these actually are. They look kind of like 13s. Yeah! And this is an actual Chevy performance pan, so it should work perfectly. Alright, we got that installed. Now what do we do? Nah, we should test fit the intake, make sure it clears this. <laughs> oh, here you go, buddy. <laughs> sure doesn't. Sure fucking hits it. Sometimes I hate working on cars. So... Hmm... What do we do about this? Well, we could try to flip the intake around and run it with the throttle body on the other side. I don't want to do that. But... Maybe we could. Um... Let's just say we cut this thing off and either weld it shut or put a plug on it. And then what do we do for oil pressure sensor? We could lengthen the wires and run it to the side of the oil pan where that port is, where most people get the oil pressure for the turbo. We could do that. I think that we, I guess, try turning the intake around and seeing how that fits. Because that will also make the wiring harness fit better. Because that's how most of the Terminator X's are designed to go. Let's get rid of you for a second. Hiya! Eh, you could work. But at this point, we almost have to lower the car down and see how things fit. Times like this is when I envy the guys that just put together like a Fox body or a Camaro or a G body. Because that stuff, that stuff's just Legos. Not that this is the hardest thing in the world. I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm crying about it. It's just like one simple little thing is making me put too much thought into this. It's a valley cover and an intake. Come on. <laughs> that should just be boop and then boop. Alright, the car's back on the cradle. So you can see that there's not a ton of room to route the charge pipe into the throttle body up there. Now I can very easily cut out the battery tray and route things, but at that point it starts to get kind of, I don't know, weird I guess. Just because there'd be so much piping like snaked around one way or another. It's almost like turbos here, the pipe would have to like go all the way around the perimeter of the engine to go there, or somehow come under here, maybe, and then up, which I think would also just look kind of weird, which is why I would love to have the intake turned around. <laughs> all right, got the cradle up into position, got the front bolts in. Well, that one's a screwdriver. 
um, but I got this jacked up so it's actually on the frame. So this is where it's going to sit. And you can see I got the stock LS4 intake back on because it coincidentally does clear. Weird, huh? And conveniently enough, this is angled up a little bit. It should clear that stuff just fine, almost like it was designed to have a transmission right there. Again, mighty weird, huh? Hmm. So I think for now, I might just run this intake. It's gonna kill a lot of power because the throttle opening on these are really, really dinky. I don't know if you'll really be able to see in there, but you can see how much it necks it down. So yeah, I think at least for the time being, I'll probably run this intake on the car and then upgrade it eventually. But we're just trying to maximize what we actually have laying around so that we can get things together. Same thing I'm doing with the RX-7. Trying to make the pulley setup that I have work for the supercharger. And then after looking around a bunch, this is a 24X 1X engine. If you don't know what that means, that means the reluctor wheel is a 24 tooth, 24X versus a 58X. Like, I don't have any of those. I'm poor. Um, and then the 1X refers to the cam sync signal. So it, getting the Holly Terminator X system to work should be fairly easy. I should be able to use the same one on that. And then I might just have to take the loom apart and extend wires because like on the harness for that, which I'm probably going to order the same one, that would have the cam signal right back there. Whereas on this, it's all the way up here. And then while we're here, I can show you guys there's quite a bit of room relatively for the crank pulley. Where did I put it? Right here is where I put it. So you can see how far this thing actually sits into the seal there. So it is remarkably tight up against the engine bay. Or up against the engine, I mean. Ooh, one thing I want to see is I think I have an adapter to go from a four bolt to a three bolt throttle body. I got it. So hopefully that is not at all correct. I should be able to re-drill it so that I can use a normal three bolt throttle body that I have. So that kind of figures that problem out and I'll be able to use a normal oil pressure sensor not have to modify the turbo feed line, do some weird stuff with my hands. It also makes the fuel feed a lot easier because what I can do is take this rail, go pop, flip it around, flip it around, and flip it around, flip it around like that. And then we'll have one fuel line come up here, bloop, and then in line somewhere, we'll just use like a Corvette style filter because that has a fuel pressure regulator built in and those things are 30 bucks, give or take. I feel like when I put the Camaro together, it was like 30 bucks for one or around there. So cool, that solves that. But for right now, I just want to get the thing together as nicely as I can, which means fixing a lot of the stuff. Once it's together and moving under its own power, then we can go back and upgrade one thing at a time, like change the intake down the road, that'll be easy. Things like that. But the big ticket items are the things we gotta take care of. Motor mounts, clutch and flywheel, turbo kit, all that stuff. All right, so sometimes you need to have a little bit of that just send it attitude. So I cut holes in the frame. Now, as you can tell, my drill bit was bent as heck. Like almost as soon as I started, it went through and then the tooth of the hole saw just like bit on one side and it just kinked it and I was like, whatever man, let's just rip through it and it'll work out perfectly. So now we can get to the nuts for the cradle bolts nice and easy. I know that someone's gonna get nervous through this. I'm going to weld a bead around this to kind of like reinforce it, you know, like bead rolling a piece of sheet metal. Now, I honestly don't think it will need it, but I think it will just make everyone a little bit more comfortable. But I think I want to end this video with just getting the cradle all bolted up and then we can lift the car up and see everything from underneath.
right, we can lower it off the jack. I don't know how much it's actually going to drop down. Well, a lot more than I thought. <laughs> Alright, check that out, dude. That is awesome. This header is just, oh god, looser than I thought. We'll just leave you there. But it looks like there's plenty of room. And then also, I am going to have to put a window in here somewhere for the starter, which isn't a big deal at all. Like, that's totally fine. But yeah, man, there's tons of room. Like I said, alternator is going to be in here. And the thing that's really nice about these cars is uh, if anything ever happens to this shell, we can just unbolt this with basically four bolts and a few wires and stuff, and then just put it right into a new shell. I think that's kind of awesome. Sweet. I'm stoked, man. So yeah, I think we're probably gonna end the video here. It's probably running a whole lot longer than uh, I intended, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. I'll see you next time.